Chainsaw Man chapter 146 was probably the sickest chapter in all of part two. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, this is insane. So we finally got announced the arrival of the Death Devil. Or not that they arrived, but the announcement, I guess, of the Death Devil. Um, now, this is a devil that I've talked about in previous videos. I knew this was coming. It's not just my prediction. A lot of people within the community have talked about how the Death Devil is more than likely the final piece to the Four Horsemen. And it got confirmation today um, as the King of Terror, the Death Devil. And it is the most feared devil above all, meaning it is the most powerful devil in all existence. And Fami is planning on making people so scared of the War Devil and the Chainsaw Devil that they can upgrade to that level to fight them for the final battle against the Death Devil. What? What? Yo, it really feels like Fujimoto is gearing towards the ending of this series. Like, I thought that, like, me personally, like, when I found out about part two, and there was a lot of discussion within the community about, like, the four horsemen and stuff, and how Makima was, like, the first piece to it, and then we got in the first chapter of the, of part two, we got introduced to the war devil, which is the second one. I thought that Chainsaw Man was going to be four parts, and each part was going to deal with a different horseman, right? That's not it. We are finally introduced to the final one, the Death Devil, the most powerful devil of all time. And I think that Fami's idea of making the world so afraid of the Chainsaw and War Devil is absolutely brilliant. Not only on Fami's part, but uh, Tatsuki Fujimoto in general. Like, that is such a brilliant idea to, like, pretty much skip a training arc to make Denji way stronger. Like, that's so cool. I wonder if Fujimoto had this planned out from the beginning, and that's why he wanted Fee to be the source of devil's power so he doesn't have to do like actual training arcs he can just make everyone like super scared of chainsaw man and dingy will like grow like 10 times in power which by the way i don't really understand like what's going on so basically the dude with the ponytail talks about how the fire devil is the one that he contracted everyone to be with and that's why everybody is turning into chainsaw man I personally don't understand it. Um, the fire devil is supposed to set fires. So why does the fire devil possess the ability to change you into Chainsaw Man? Like how is everybody changing into Chainsaw Man? I don't understand that. But then again, it's the same with Makima. Makima was supposed to be the control devil, yet she has multiple powers that have nothing to do with control. Like when you go back and you reread part one, like Makima actually uses a handful of different techniques that have nothing to do with control, right? So it's one of those things that I, I feel like every devil has like extra abilities. Well, it's kind of like Chainsaw Man, right? Like Chainsaw Man has the ability to eat you and, and erase you from history, right? That has nothing to do with a chainsaw. Like a chainsaw is supposed to cut stuff. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't wipe out history. So I feel like every devil has like some sort of like extra ability and I guess the fire devil can transform you into other devils. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, a giant war broke out in the streets. Just a bunch of chainsaw men running amok, killing everybody. Wow. That is just absolutely wow. Um, on top of that, it's just like, like, man, I really feel like Fujimoto is coming to a close with this manga. Like, I don't mean that, like, soon. I don't think Chainsaw Man's gonna end in, like, the next, like, 30 chapters. I think we probably at least have 100 more chapters. So, it'll be a little bit before, like, the ending of Chainsaw Man. Unless Fujimoto, like, pushes this series past this. Like, if the Death Devil is not, like, the grand finale, which I really hope is not the case because I would hate for Chainsaw Man to be one of those manga that, like, is, you know, pushes past its expiration date. I feel like if the author has a planned, you know, set, you know, where he wants to end the manga, I think that's best. You know, I've seen, I'm sure, you know, if you're a manga fan, you've seen it time and time again where it's, like, oh, this person was supposed to be the final villain, but because the manga is so popular, they continue it for another like 200, 300 chapters. And then that's when people say that, you know, whatever series falls off. I just really hope that doesn't happen to Chainsaw Man. Um, other than that, 
Yeah, man. That's crazy. So Chainsaw Man more than likely might only be two parts. This might be like the end game. Like we are gearing towards the final battle. That's crazy. Um, I wonder like how exactly everything's going to play. Oh, I just thought of something. I completely forgot. Dude, there is so much craziness happening in Chainsaw Man right now. I completely forgot about power. Like we're supposed to still get to power. Like where is that going to be involved? Is she going to be like the right hand man? of the death devil think about that because like we have yet to see the blood devil show up again like you know what i mean like the blood devil supposed to show up right like that's kind of the whole point of denji's journey to fight to befriend the blood devil again what if they're on enemy sides and they're fighting with like their side you know the right hand man of the death devil i don't know man it's just like, I know I'm making it sound like Chainsaw Man is ending. I know that there's still a lot more to do. It just feels like, as far as, like, the major pieces have all been, like, set on the chessboard now. Now it's just a matter of time. How long is it going to take for Fujimoto to complete this, you know, game of chess, I guess. But with that said, I'm so hyped. I am so hyped, man. This is so cool. I cannot wait to see the Death Devil and whatever else Devil um, Fujimoto thinks of. But yeah, man, here it is, dude. I really feel like this is the final war of Chainsaw Man, and I'm so ready for it. Oh, wait, actually, before I end the video, I completely forgot. Like, I just thought of this. So, uh, a few months back, Tatsuki Fujimoto, the author, was ta it was in an, uh, uh, sorry was in an interview, and he actually talked about how he does not plan on Chainsaw Man being a super long series because he actually is looking forward to working on other manga after Chainsaw Man, and one of the main things that he wants to do is just become a writer. To him, that is like his main thing that he just wants to do in manga like he doesn't really want to draw anymore he wants to hire another artist and then he writes the story so who knows maybe he's just decided that that's what he wants to do and so he's you know taking chainsaw man out with a bang and he's gonna start on his new work and stuff which i'm super excited about su super excited for because i'm a huge Tatsuki fujimoto fan outside of just chainsaw man i love all of his work so far um they've been awesome and if we can get, you know, a lot more of his stuff and he just is the writer and he hires a new artist, which I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I get it. Like, I draw my own manga. So, like, I understand the amount of toll that it takes to have to write the story and draw the art. Like, do everything yourself. It's definitely very taxing on your body. So, like, I completely get that. But one of the things that I love Chainsaw Man for is because of Fujimoto's art style makes it feel very wacky. Like it's just like that style. So maybe he can hire an artist that draws similar to him or maybe it takes a completely different change. Because another thing that people have talked about is how Fujimoto isn't necessarily the best artist. Uh, his work is very like sketchy-ish, um, kind of rushed a lot at the time. And so a lot of people would say, oh, if you had like a artist like let's say Boichi, uh, the artist for Dr. Stone, if you've ever read that manga, that manga art is insane. Like it's so good. And uh, like if you have somebody who's like really talented like that art wise, but then you have like the storytelling capabilities of Fujimoto. That could also be a very, very like incredible manga. So who knows? Um, that I just want to throw it out there. If you guys didn't know, that interview took place like, I want to say like three, four months ago. So who knows? Maybe this is it. Maybe this is why he's, I don't want to say calling it quits, but he's definitely like gearing up for the finale of Chainsaw Man. So I wonder if we're going to lead straight into it or if he's going to take another year off like he did in between part one and two. Like, I wonder if he's going to end it soon and then it just be, you know, a year later and then he brings it back for part three, which is like the big finale. Or if we're just going to lead straight into the fina finale from here. Who knows? But uh, regardless of what Tatsuki Fujimoto does in the future, I'm going to support it because 
I love this man's work and even if somebody else draws it, I'm sure the story will be amazing and I really hope or I would imagine that he would find an artist that can really encapsul encapsulate his um, style of character writing because a lot of his character writing does feed off of the imagery and how the character's body language is handled, which is another reason why I love uh, Fujimoto's art style, even if he's not you know, the best artist in the world. Sometimes it's not about the quality, it's about the style. And I just hope that he finds an artist who has the style capable enough, you know, because even if you had somebody like Boichi, it's kind of like how uh, people talked about how Boichi, the uh, artist for Dr. Stone, he came out with a one shot that was about One Piece. And even though the art was incredible, some people were saying that, yeah, but it doesn't feel like One Piece though, because the art style just doesn't match what One Piece is supposed to be. So even though the artwork is absolutely amazing, it's still kind of like, yeah, people still kind of prefer Oda because his art, his like cartoonish art style fits One Piece more. So I just hope that he finds a artist that fits Chainsaw Man. Bye, have a beautiful time.